What's good, y'all? We're in Ableton. Today, we're going to go over how to record external synths inside of Ableton, which is a very, very, very easy and fast process. So this tutorial is going to be pretty quick. First thing you want to do is go to instruments, go to your external instruments, double click. Now, right here where it says MIDI 2, I don't have my mini freak hooked up to my SSL right now because I got a bad cord. So I just figured that out. So I'm switching it out. But in the meantime, the Minilu, Minilu XD, the cord, I'm pretty sure I chopped, butchered that name. I'm horrible with names. I'm good with math and money, though. But in music <laughs> but i got this hooked up already so if i hit these so So I'm playing the MIDI from here, going to my mini Lube XD. And if I want to, I can do the MIDI. Matter of fact, let me let me get a better sound. Let me get like a bell or something. I feel like bells or strings or will be better for this tutorial. Hold on. Okay, so we got a sound that I like, so. So we could, we could make a pat, a pat so I'm gonna go ahead and just make one real quick. We're gonna do it real simple. Simple four bars that I messed up. Don't judge me. Let's go in here. We'll fix it just for the sake of it. Yeah, let's make that four bars right there. We want that right there. Man. Okay, let's quantize this son of a gun. Of course, I didn't set my quantize, so it messed up. So shift. Where we at? We're at. Uh, Let's go to. Well, let's get out of this screen first of all. Uh, where is the screen that we want to go to? We want to go to. Uh, no, okay, right there. Then let's go to right here. Okay, so now when we go to repeat, we can go to one sixteenth and then quantize it. Which that still sounds trash. So what we're going to do is put the metronome on. And we are going to do it again. Okay. Easy. So. So 
So we got that. Basically, once you got your MIDI, your MIDI down, all you do is this. First, you want to go to the audio from and you want to know where it's coming from. So mine's is coming from 910. So no, actually, it's coming from 1112. I'm lying. 1112. So once we do that, you right click, you go to freeze track. You can let this go. I'm going to skip this for right now. Okay. We froze it. Now what you do, we flatten it. And here goes the audio. super simple and that's how you record synths inside of Ableton very simple very simple like you can't get more simple than this so thanks for watching the video we are going to drop another video on MPC chopping in Ableton so stay tuned